Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Five Minute Econometrics. Today, I will introduce the Gauss-Markov theorem. Gauss-Markov theorem states, under the five Gauss-Markov assumptions, the OLS estimators are the best linear unbiased estimators of the population coefficients. Best is defined as having the smallest variance. In other words, among all the linear unbiased estimators, OLS has the smallest variance under the five Gauss-Markov assumptions. We have discussed the four assumptions for the unbiasedness of the OLS estimators. They are also the first four Gauss-Markov assumptions. Linear in parameters, random sampling, no perfect collinearity, and zero conditional mean. The fifth Gauss-Markov assumption is the homoscedasticity assumption. The error term mu has the same variance given any value of the explanatory variables. The variance of mu conditional on x equals sigma squared, where sigma squared is a constant. The first four assumptions ensure that the OLS estimators are unbiased estimators for the population coefficients. The homoscedasticity assumption is for the OLS estimators to be the most efficient estimators, that is, have the smallest variance. The zero conditional mean assumption is the most important assumption. If it fails, the OLS estimators are biased. If only the homoscedasticity assumption fails, the OLS estimators are still unbiased. They are just not the most efficient estimators because they do not have the smallest variance. For example, when the variance of the error term mu is a function of the explanatory variable x, the variance is no longer a constant. So the homoscedasticity assumption does not hold. In this case, the weighted least squares estimators have a smaller variance than the ordinary least squares estimators. The best linear unbiased estimator is the weighted least squares estimator instead of the ordinary least squares estimator. Suppose beta hat and beta tilde are both linear unbiased estimators of the population coefficient beta. Under the five Gauss-Markov assumptions, the variance of the OLS estimator beta hat is smaller than the other estimator beta tilde. That is to say, beta hat is more precise than beta tilde. The Gauss-Markov theorem justifies using OLS to estimate the population coefficients because the OLS estimators are unbiased and most efficient, or the best among all the estimators under the five Gauss-Markov assumptions. We can write the variance of the OLS estimator beta hat in the matrix form. In the case of simple regression, when there is only one explanatory variable, we can write the variance of the slope estimate as follows. The greater the variation in x, the smaller the variance. Let me show you why the OLS estimator is the best linear unbiased estimator of the population coefficient under the Gauss-Markov assumptions. In step 1, we write down the variance formula of the OLS estimator beta hat. In the second step, we assume that the beta tilde is another linear unbiased estimator. Since it is unbiased, 
the expected value of beta tilde equals beta. So the product of a and x equals zero. In step three, we write out the variance of beta tilde and finally show that it is greater than the variance of beta hat. In summary, if assumptions 1 to 4 hold, then the whereas estimators are unbiased. If assumptions 1 to 5 hold, then the whereas estimators are unbiased and efficient. In other words, they are the best linear unbiased estimators. Blue. Thank you for watching the 5 minute equal metrics. See you. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.